In this question, we have to find the EMF of the lower cell. There are different ways to solve this question. One option is to use Kirchhoff's laws. However, using these laws will take a longer time, so I will use a quicker method here. As you can see, I have only drawn the top loop of the circuit. I decided to do this because no current flows through the 3 ohm resistor, so it can practically be omitted when solving this question. In addition, it also means that the current flowing through the 2 ohm and the 4 ohm resistors is the same. I will start by using this equation from subtopic 5.2, where R total is the total resistance, and R1, R2, and so on, are the resistances of individual resistors connected in series. So RT, the total resistance of the circuit seen here, is equal to 2 plus 4 ohms, so 6 ohms. Next, I will use this equation, also from subtopic 5.2, where R is resistance, V is potential difference, and I is current, to calculate the current in this circuit. Rearranging for I, we get I is equal to V over R, and substituting, we will use the EMF of the cell in this circuit, so 12 volts, divided by the total resistance, which is 6 ohms. This is equal to 2 amperes. Next, we will use the same equation to calculate the potential difference across the 4 ohm resistor, which is equal to R times I, so 4 times 2. This gives us 8 volts for the potential difference. Now take a look at the entire circuit that is given in the question. As we said earlier, the 3 ohm resistor can be omitted. This means that the lower cell is connected in parallel with the 4 ohm resistor. As a result, the potential difference across the 4 ohm resistor is equal to the EMF of the lower cell. In other words, the EMF of the lower cell is equal to 8 volts.